what a lie from the pit of hell. These, these folks that are telling these children, oh, it's not going to hurt you long term. These kids are being sold a lie. Botched and destroyed lives, the loss of parental rights, growing intolerance. The costs of the transgender craze are quickly mounting. On the Generation Indoctrination podcast, we'll explore the disturbing philosophy, the diabolical dynamics in our schools, the legislative battles, and the ominous chronology that brought us to this juncture. It's important, though, to really look at the kind of dark history here. You know, John Money was an experimenter on human beings, and this predated uh, informed consent and experimental design and protection of human subjects. Money was a psychologist and professor at Johns Hopkins University. He believed that babies were born gender neutral and that environment ultimately determined whether a child becomes male or female. He believed that boys could be raised as girls and vice versa. In addition to the disturbing history, we'll investigate the dire implications on kids and families, as well as the unsettling and heartbreaking stories from those directly impacted. At the height of the pandemic, my daughter told my husband and myself that she was experiencing confusion over her sex. After a few weeks into school, my daughter got into the car and told me she had a meeting with school officials where they asked her which restroom she wanted to use. I was floored. They are colluding and collaborating with minor children to exclude parents from these critical decisions that will impact their health and well-being at school. We noticed that, you know, our girls were coming home saying they were concerned about using a bathroom now because now you have um, boys that may come into those girls' restrooms and so they just decided to hold it for the day. Or I would ask, how come your water bottle's still full? And they said, well, we just decided not to drink anything today. We deal with moms almost every day whose children are either captured in some way by gender identity indoctrination um, or, or gender dysphoria or also um, schools that are intervening in really inappropriate ways with children um, outside of the consent and knowledge of parents. Plus, we'll explore how medical organizations and clinics have co-signed the affirmation-only philosophy, pushing facts and reality to the side and punishing detractors. The first weapon uh, that, that they use is that if you don't believe what we say, then you are bigoted and hateful. Because if anybody does really you know, come outside the box and say, whoa, wait a minute, this isn't right. They are immediately attacked in any way possible. The whole trans idea comes back to a philosophy that each person is sort of sovereign, that there is no human nature. There's no, no claim on us except what we choose to submit ourselves to, consent to be governed, consent to sexual activity or, or whatever, but I define who I am. I, I decide what's true, my truth, your truth. Um, I decide what I'm gonna do with my body. The chaotic state of the gender wars is no doubt having a serious impact on families and our institutions, and most importantly, young lives. One of the biggest concerns that we've had is the way that religion is being weaponized against parents. The scariest part about this gender revolution for me is the emphasis on family abolition. The idea that if your parents are unsupportive, you should reject them. That children should be removed from families that don't wish to medically or socially transition a child. Our children are having an identity crisis because parents have been having an identity crisis. We need to reacquire who we are. We are the authorities the size and scope of the problem is undeniable. Generation Indoctrination explores the problem and paves the way toward a solution. I've heard people compare this ideology to a cult. I've heard people compare this to, um, you know, the, the fascism and, and totalitarianism uh, movements that we've seen in the past. But ultimately, the, this is, is even bigger than any of those things because this, it's not happening in one country. It's not happening on one continent even. This is global. Join us as we tackle this essential issue.